Hi, it's Dr. Kimberly here, and I'm coming to you live from Central Texas. It's just about lunchtime. And yesterday I received this in the mail. It's my first um, formatted habit tracking journal for meditations, mindfulness, or gratitude practices. And um, I'm really, really pleased with the way this six by nine, 100 page journal came out. First of all, I designed the cover. It's kind of a planetary theme. It's in beautiful shades of pinks and golds and purples and blues uh, with a, uh, a sky, a starlit sky behind those planetary shapes. It's kind of a, a deep navy. It looks maybe black uh, here on camera, but it's, it's kind of a deep navy background. It says, my meditations on the front. And I carried that design image onto the back cover with a few notes about how to use this journal to go farther in your practice by using it to capture the intention that you have for each session, the mood, what was your, your mood at the time that you started your meditation or ended your meditation practice, which posture did you use? Um, one reason for tracking that is you may find that you're getting into uh, a deeper state of relaxation and focus when you're sitting cross-legged or when you're lying completely fat, flat on your back or when you're uh, seated a little bit uh, more relaxed with some cushions propping you up. But getting a sense of when you're having some of your best meditation sessions is a great use of a journal because the more that you keep track of those things, the more frequently that you'll be able to go back, refer to those and start to get a sense of a trend of what's really impacting your practice. Like, you know, did I have the right mood when I went in? Did I set uh, an intention for that session for my mindfulness or gratitude practice? So all of the pages, the 50 pages are the same. And what you have in here, which is really nice, it's there are some things that are super easy to complete, like the mood wheel. You can just basically check off uh, how you felt. If you felt sad, you can identify if you were feeling guilty, depressed, lonely. Uh, if you were feeling uh, surprised, did you have a feeling of excitement or amazement? And if you were happy, um, were you feeling optimistic or peaceful? So all of those different types of moods um, based by a category are here for an easy check off. And then there's a, a place here to just quickly capture some notes right here around what was the focus for that particular practice. and any thoughts or insights that came to you as you finished up your practice. So if you if a great idea popped into your head or you you saw a picture or an image of something during your meditation practice, you know, you could make note of that right here. At the very top, you're just putting in the date, the time of your practice, and maybe you'll start to get a sense, you know, are you getting better with your meditations when you're doing them consistently? um 30 minutes before bedtime or in the afternoon or in the first 30 minutes before you get out of bed do you want to start a meditation session then uh, maybe at 6 30 in the morning your mind is clear it's not racing yet because of all the things that you need to do during the day so you just get um, started and you by tracking the time here as you complete this you'll be able to go back and, and get a sense of which were some of your more memorable meditation, mindfulness, or gratitude practice sessions. Um, if you used a mantra, a particular mantra, you can write that in here. And then again, there's icons to identify which posture you held during your meditation session. So if you were uh, completely laying down, if you were meditating while you were doing yoga and holding a pose, uh, maybe it was a breathing exercise and you want to capture that or you're sitting cross-legged or sitting with um, pillows or in another pose. And then down here at the bottom, again, very quickly, you're, e you're able to kind of assess on a timeline here the level of intensity that you brought into that session with you. So uh, how focused were you? How regular was your breathing? Were you focusing on breathing? Because that's a terrific exercise to do with how how long you hold your breath, how many counts you're holding your breath for, if you're trying to get into a much more relaxed state. 
And then uh, as you close out your meditation practice at the end, there's three things here for reflection. And reflection at the end of a practice is so very important um, because this is where you really channel your learning into that practice. And it, it really helps to deepen your practice and take it to that next step. So for, for the three things that you can journal here at the end of each session that you're recording, you can state what you were grateful for, um, what you intend to accomplish as a result of this practice, and what you still feel like you could work on to improve. And maybe that's something that you want to take with you into your next um, practice. And if you're not practicing every day, having written that on your last practice, when you do pick up this journal again, you can turn to your last session and say, oh yeah, you know, I told myself I really wanted next time to work on extending my meditation by another five minutes, or I wanted to um, use a mantra the next time in my practice, or I wanted to set an intention of gratitude or thankfulness. And so, you know, this is a great reminder that again, it helps you accelerate and enhance your practice as you move along. So uh, this is available on my Facebook shop. You can find me on Instagram, uh, as well as my own personal website at drkimberlydenny.com. All three of those locations carry shops at which you can purchase these journals. I actually have an Etsy shop as well, um, journals by Kimberly, Dr. Kimberly, um, but probably Facebook, Instagram, or my website might be the easiest um, to purchase from. And um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Feel free to message me. I hope you'll follow me on my website. I publish additional content. And um, I have a number of other notebooks and journals that are available for sale. Many are just lined uh, college ruled notebooks with beautiful cover designs for inspiration and motivation. But this is my fourth in a series of habit tracking journals. So this one, again, for meditations, which I just love, meditations, mindfulness, uh, gratitude practices, um, but my other habit tracking journals, I have one for people that enjoy riding bikes and they want to capture the details of all of their outdoor bike riding journeys, uh, the great places that they've seen, the important places they stopped along the way, the, the miles that they've ridden, the intensity of those rides, the things that they saw from wildlife, plants and nature. Um, all of that can be captured in the bike riding journal. And then I have a his and hers kind of fitness journal for folks that want to track their progress with cardiovascular and strength training exercise. So my track it journals for strength and cardio are also available on my shops. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you today, a few minutes during my lunch hour, and I wish you great health and happiness. Thank you.